Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad to hear this very wet Wednesday morning. Our weather brought to us by Haney Technical Center at 757-5500. Folks, it's coming down here in Bay County now. It's, uh, the whole area, just look at the radar, the whole area in our viewing area is just completely uh, uh, rain. Now, some of it's light rain, uh, but it's, it's windy and rainy, and we're going to get, uh, we've already had an inch of rain in Panama City. I was expecting uh, maybe two inches here. Washington County is going to get a lot of rain, too, so be aware of that. And the wind is blowing, and it was lightning last night. Lightning woke me up at 219, uh, lightning and thunder. High today, right now it's 68 degrees here, 67. It's, it's all the same temperature all throughout the panhandle, within one degree. That was ironic. High today is still going to get up in the 70s. We're talking about 72 to 73 degrees. Low tonight, only be 62. Water temperature is 61. And in boating forecast, just really don't want to be in the water. It's coming out of south, southwest at 16 knots, seas 4 to 7. The river readings, take a look at Apalachicola. We hope this is going to. Uh, we've got a little bit of bump in it, a little bit of a hope right there with some rising waters at a point five there, and the Choctahatchee. Now look at there, uh, look at by Friday and Saturday, the Choctahatchee River is going to be going up from all this rain we're getting. It's at a 1.1 now, it's going to jump up, it's going to double up at about 2.8 by the weekend. So that's going to be a good sign over there, we'll have a little bit of rising water and some of that rain getting in the swamp. Our Carl Vernon Marine Specialties Tide Chart Good strong tide today. We're looking on, you believe it's the 21st of December. Low tide this morning at 3.49 a.m. High tide at 5.53. So you have a strong, strong tide coming in. Look at the rest of the week. Uh, if you can get off any day or any, any afternoon or morning, you're going to just have some good strong tides moving in the rest of this week. So that's the Carl Vernon Marine Specialties Tide Chart. Now every Wednesday morning, we'll have to call Captain Blair Morgan and touch base with him about what's going on down in our Eastern viewing area in Apalachicola Bay, St. Joe Bay, and all around the woods and water. Good morning, Blair. Good morning, Winston. How are you this morning? I'm doing good, buddy. How are you doing? I'm great. Is it wet down there? Yeah, I'll tell you what, it started raining here a couple hours ago and a little bit of lightning and just a steady rain. We really need it bad. Everything's so dry. Hopefully, uh, it'll continue today or so and wet some stuff up in the National Forest up that way. Yeah, I know what you mean. What's going on down there? Uh, not a whole lot right now. I tell you, there's not many people here, um, uh, understand some of the, uh, uh, rental people are going to get fairly busy, uh, between Christmas and the week or two after the first of the year, but right now it's kind of slow, but, uh, yeah. the people that's here, um, uh, they're pretty much just surf fishing and catching whiting and what they can off the beach and there's a few people going up the canal, and they're catching, you know, a lot of trout up in the canal. And uh, over in Apalachicola Bay, yeah, they're catching them up in the creeks and the rivers. And, uh, Whiskey George boat ramp is about full every day. I keep saying that, but they're catching a lot of fish out of that area. Good. But um, basically, it's kind of slow. I talked to people down at the Indian Pass campground, and they said that things were real slow down that way. Uh, just, everybody's getting ready for Christmas, I guess. They're not doing a whole lot of fishing right now the, and the ones that uh around east point of course when when they don't oyster they're going hunting yeah <laughs> so a lot of hunting going on yeah what about blair have you heard much from the uh duck hunter down in that area yeah i have uh there's very few ducks really yeah of course you got to consider when you know ducks they like to eat acorns and the acorn crop this year around that Plachicola river was not good i yeah, I, I heard some of your people talking about how good it was other places. In fact, I was at my mother's yesterday in Quincy, and she said she's never seen so many acorns there. She had acorns all over her deck, you know, oh, and good. they're still falling up there. But along the river system, uh, uh, Apalachicola River system, there's just wasn't many acorns. And, of course, there's not a whole lot of water. And ducks got to have water. Well, Blair, how, how's your mother doing? She's doing real good. Good deal. Yeah, she's doing good. She's uh, 85 and getting around, getting around real good. Well, that's that's great to hear. Well, listen, buddy, we're gonna try to get down and sometime during the holidays, and maybe we'll get together and do some stuff. 
That'll be a good one. All right. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you and everybody else. All right, buddy. Thank you. Captain Blair Morgan of Blue Water Bandit Charters. We'll take our first break and we'll be right back. We are so lucky to live in North Florida. We have some of the best fresh and saltwater fishing in the world. My biggest problem is not catching fish, but trying to decide what kind of fish I want to catch. No matter what I'm after, I always stop at Sunjammers Water Sports first. They have just what I need. Rods and reels, line, tackle, and most important, live bait. Yes, sir, we sure are lucky. Bill Kramer's Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC is Panama City's exclusive full-line dealership. Built on a 45-year foundation of trust and total customer satisfaction in all departments. Including our huge pre-owned department, where we'll pay top dollar for your current automobile as a trade-in. Or we'll place your vehicle on our lot and help you sell it. At Bill Kramer's Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. Four decades, three generations, one tradition. City living is simply better without glasses. The Eye Center of North Florida offers the most advanced cataract surgery using lifestyle lens implants, which allow you to see all distances glasses free. Our surgeons perform this quick and painless procedure at our accredited surgery center. When it comes to your vision, trust your local experts in surgical eye care. The Eye Center of North Florida. Join the Panhandle Outdoors team just in time for the holidays. Beat the rush and stock up on our team shirts and hats in a wide variety of colors and sizes. For your convenience, we offer a Panhandle Outdoors shop at panhandleoutdoors.net. Simply visit our website and click shop to bring in the holiday season. Be a member of the Panhandle Outdoors team, Florida's only live daily outdoor show. Welcome back. Glad you're with us on this wet Wednesday morning and we've got rain all day, so you be sure and drive careful, leave early for work and all, and just take your time. Let's get started with a couple of pictures. Sent to me a good friend of mine, Bob Thomas. Y'all remember Bob Thomas? He uh, used to teach at Mosley, the science department head, then later on became principal at, at Bozeman, then he retired and moved up to Georgia, moved away from us, but Bob loved to hunt with us and we always had some good times hunting, and he and Clayton Huggins, and, and we always would fish together and hunt something together. But here's a couple of pictures he sent me from Georgia. Now he got a, he, he built a house up there and his deer stand is 300 yards directly behind his house. So he don't have to go far. So he got this eight point during Thanksgiving and the other day he got another eight point. He got two eight points out of the same tree stand 300 yards from the house. So you can't beat that. And maybe Bob watched this tonight on YouTube up there in Georgia. So good job, Bob. Now keep in mind, we're talking about we're going to have our big 1,000th live show celebration on January the 9th. So get your interest in. We've got a lot of people to enter, and we're going to give away a lot of good stuff and have a little celebration that day. So you can, you can email it to me, or you can mail it to my address, and, and we'll enter you for that, for that contest. And it's going to be a, a lot of fun. Uh, Notice last night I got in from the FWC about recreational red grouper limit to increase. So let me just read you one paragraph of it. The recreational red grouper bag limit in the Gulf of Mexico state waters will increase on December the 30th from two to four fish. So it goes on to say uh, the grouper uh, uh, increase is one of several management changes they're looking at. Management changes in 2012, they're going to talk about gag grouper, they're going to address that later. And federal, federal uh, managers are working on a plan to further protect gag grouper. And the state is sort of going along with that. But I just want to pass on what it says about the about the red grouper, okay? We're going to take a break and get ready to come back for some video. When you stop by Blue Water Outriggers, you will find everything for your outdoor adventure. Stock up on all your favorite brands and shop for some of the latest outdoor gear and accessories. You can also shop online and have your orders delivered straight to your home. Our flagship store is nestled right off the of Highway 98 in the Port City Shopping Center, just steps away from the Port St. Joe Marina. You will love our selection, our prices, and our friendly service. 
Captain's Cove Marina, designed with fishermen in mind. Easy access to the best fishing along Florida's forgotten coast. Deep sea fishing, fly fishing from a kayak, cruising endless miles of bayous, bays, and the intercoastal waterway. Count on the captain's crew to work hard to make your day on the water the best ever. Captain's Cove Marina, 1617 Grouper Avenue, Port St. Joe, 850-227-3357. Panama City Beach is known as one of the top dive destinations in Florida. Divers Den offers daily dive charters that can accommodate up to 13 divers. Our boat captain is U.S. Coast Guard certified and a paddy dive instructor. We have trained professionals who offer a variety of scuba certifications. Come see us at our two locations on Thomas Drive and Tendo Parkway. Harold Milling Company, rough and tough dog food. Harold Milling Company builds it. They build hog feed, they build dairy feed, they make chicken feed, they have specialty feed for rabbits. If you got a worm farm, grandmother used to have a worm farm, look at the Harold Milling Company. You want to go down and get you, <clears throat> the dog's not running anymore, it's all over with. You want to get that 16% uh, and drop down from the 26% protein, you don't want old Rover to get fat. Harold Milling Company, you can buy it almost any feed store in the Panama City area. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. You know, we're looking at December. I always call it a uh, hybrid month. And by that, I mean I sort of divide my time between hunting and fishing. I really get serious about hunting toward the end of December. But also, it's always good fishing in December. One of the top places to go is the Highland View Canal right there at the T. So we're going to get started in this video, and, and uh, you're going to enjoy this fishing trip at the Highland View Bridge. So let's try it. Okay, folks, here we are, White City, got a big bridge, putting in, uh, putting in about the middle of the day. We just uh, have been in a hurry. We'll go up here to the tee, see what we can do. All right, let's go. All right, folks, got situated now. Uh, we're right here at the tee. I'm, I'm going to call this a tea party. If you look out here at all the boats, can, can you believe that? Is that a good sign of things going on? So we're at the tee where the intercoastal and the Island View Canal meet. Folks call it the T. Now I'm gonna start naming this a T party. And oops, I got a bike, hold on. Hold on. I got a fish, hold on. Oh look at a nice trout here. little trout start start off good been here a few minutes aren't it beautiful you can feel they're so cold this time of year they're so cold okay let's let him go okay. right, I got another one uh, it just came off came off that's what happens sometimes when we call it a fishing and not catching Look at that big old crab right here. Look at this crab. See that? Look at that. You want me to see if we can catch him? He wants that. He wants that bad. Where he go? You think he'll bite me? All right. Listen, I want my shrimp back. Give him my shrimp. Give him my shrimp. Ow! <laughs> well, it's just wintertime fishing, and they're real slow. See, he's very lethargic, but I don't mean he can't bite, and the big old claws are hurt. So I'm going to try to... You want them? Okay. All right, ready? Uh-oh. <laughs> he's warming up. He's warming up. There you go. That was a catch and release on a winter crab. Uh, these folks up here, I think, are hooking pelicans. Not on purpose. Pelican fishing. I 
got another one. It's like a traffic jam out here. <laughs> this one ain't real big. That one ain't real big. That was about 10 inches. They're pretty though, aren't they? I got another one. All these fish are coming out of the same hole. We've been here about an hour. We haven't moved. It's a little bit bigger. I say about speckled trout, once you get into them, you don't want to hold. That's a pretty one there. You see that one? Oh, redfish. A little baby red. I knew he was fighting pretty strong. Speckled trout and redfish a lot of times stay in the same hole. Alright, he's gonna hop out. There it is. Alright. Folks, on this trip, it's my wife and I, and I, I love fishing with my wife. She's good, but uh, she's always behind the camera. I try to switch with her sometimes and show the fish she catches, but she won't let me do it. We're fishing, you can see how beautiful it is looking down the canal. You see the Highland View Bridge down there, and you see the boats. It's a winter afternoon. It's a winter afternoon, and uh, Real nice. It's warmed up. I've taken off a sweatshirt. We're fishing uh, two or three ways. Gold spoon. I've got a Carolina rig set up. A big piece of shrimp on them. So we're just doing a little bit of everything. But we stayed in one spot right now. It's staying pretty steady. So uh, it's fun. We're down at the T at Highland View. Again, they all come out of the same hole. There you go. I'm fishing a Carolina rig with a shrimp on it. Uh -oh. Okay, this is, again now, this is a tea party. Look at all the boats. Oh, I got another one. Right, to be honest with you, we, I think we're catching more than anybody else. But don't tell them that. <laughs> Here he is. Put them up and release them. Okay, I was throwing this gold spoon really up against the shore. Look here. <laughs> on a gold spoon. Okay, there you go. Why don't y'all look what I got this one on? That's Captain Joe's gold flake. Look at that. And what I, I was catching one a while ago on a gold spoon. And I know Captain Joe's is hard to beat. Look at there. I love that color. See that gold flake right there? Captain Joe, he'll be proud of that. <laughs> All right. All right, that's, that's a little bit bigger. That's a little bit nice. All right. Okay. All right. One thing we got going for us today is overcast. I love overcast days, but look at that uh, cloud formation right there. Is that cool or what? Well, I say it's cool. All 
All right, folks, I want to tell you exactly where we are now so you can fish this same spot and catch some fish. If you look around, we're at the end of the, end of the canal, right at the tee. We have fished this one spot for a couple of hours. Right now, I think we've caught th over 30-something 30 some, 30 odd type of trout and one redfish. There's that real estate sign over there. You can see where we are. Uh, there's the other side. A lot of boats have been moving around. We just stayed in this one spot. Okay, scan around. You see way down there, you can see the Highland View Bridge. You can still see quite a few people fishing, including that big seagull, or pelican, I mean. All right, and folks over there, for show how close we are to the side over here, we're about, about 25 to 30 yards off the bank, off the east bank, right there. I got one again on Cap Joe's. That little speckle green. Plus I got a really lightweight, ultra light rod reel. And these small trout are fun to catch, I'm telling you. Look at that. You see, that's Captain Joe. Joe Hebert. I'll be proud of this one. That's, nice. that's a nice one right there. Look at that. Then that to Joe. I'm catching so many fish, I'm having to sit down. I'm getting tired. I got another one. Oh. There you go. I got another one. I guess what? Yeah, I'm Joe again. This is a fish on lure. That's that gold flake. It's not a big one. But it's fun to catch on this little lightweight snapshot. There you go. There it is, right here. Copperhead. Okay. And this rod and reel is a little snapshot. It's super lightweight. Got another one. <laughs> we got a good hole, folks. About every cast, I'm getting one. There he is. Now, you don't want, ain't nothing right at home about, but like I say, they're lightweight and there's fish on lure. There you go. We're going on off, buddy. Come on. One thing, one thing to keep in mind on these winter days, you really got to fish slow. And that he hit at that time, I just was touching it. And that's when they're gonna hit. You gotta fish slow in the winter time. All right, folks, we're gonna wrap it up out here at the tee. We uh, we've had a good afternoon. A little cloud overcast. We've caught probably close to 40 speckle trout and one redfish. And I tried all different ways. I like to fish all different ways, but my favorite was Captain Joe's fish on gold flake right here and this little snapshot reel. We caught some nice ones off it. To be honest with you, I think my wife caught more than I did. But uh, uh, I didn't want to say too much about that, but we, we've had a good time. And uh, the, the best thing, though, is we got out here on the afternoon and didn't have to worry about any kind of anybody bothering us all. All these people around, but everybody handled themselves well. Uh, the fish were out here. A lot of people moved around, but we just sort of stayed in one spot. So that's it for today. Listen, thank you all for watching our show, and we'll be right back after this commercial. On the water or under the water, success starts at C&G Sporting Goods. C&G specializes in fresh and saltwater fishing tackle, floundering supplies, spear fishing equipment, and much, much more. C&G also has licenses, maps, and expert advice on where to go. For over 59 years, C&G Sporting Goods has been the headquarters for the outdoors man. Fishing, hunting, camping, guns, and ammo. They've got it all. C&G, home of the experts, downtown Panama City. You see the chores and ask, how can I do this? At Kubota, we see the utility vehicle and say, this is how you do it. With a smooth running diesel engine, a durable hydrostatic transmission, power steering, and four-wheel drive, you'll never look at a utility vehicle the same way again. 
the Kubota RTV 900 utility vehicle. You gotta see this for yourself. See and save on all Kubota tractors and equipment at Soul Tractor today. My name's Captain Rick Corley. I'm a SAMS accredited Marine Surveyor, NAM certified Marine Surveyor, and I am a certified Marine Investigator. Been surveying since 1969. Was taught by my father, who is the oldest longest practicing Marine Surveyor in the world. We do all types of survey, commercial or pleasure, steel, aluminum, fiberglass, wood, makes no difference. Give us a call at 850-527-5287 or visit us online. We'd appreciate your business. The greatest investment we can all make is in the lives of our children and grandchildren. To help you invest for retirement, handle your IRA rollover, protect your family with life or long-term care insurance, Call my dad for an appointment at his new office on Wilson Avenue behind Lowe's. And he'll give you a copy of his most recent book, Seven Steps to Serious Money. For free! Walter Woodrick, your serious money advisor! Okay, welcome back. You see from the video, what we did, we just anchored out at one spot, I found a good spot, and a lot of folks just move around a lot, and there's both ways you can catch fish, and you know, to me, the ideal way is just move around until you find a spot, and just uh, ease that anchor out real slow. That was, that was a fun, fun trip Gail and I had. Let's take a look at Express Lane Fishing Game Forecast. We're looking at this morning from 8.39 to 10.39, it'll be a peak time, and then Later on this evening from 9.09 to 11.09, brought to us by Express Lane, American-owned and American-operated. Okay, on tomorrow's show, it's going to be an interesting show. It'll be a little bit different from what I normally do. As you know, Jack Wingate, a uh, famous uh, guide from uh, Lake Seminole, owner of Lunker Lodge, and uh, just a legendary figure on Lake Seminole, passed away a week before last. A good friend of mine, Byron Spires, has a, a radio talk show, and had him over the years had him on his talk show. And he put together a video that, as a tribute to Jack. We're going to show that tomorrow, a lot of it tomorrow. I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's sort of a, this man actually uh, walked around in, those shore, in the shores of, of Lake Seminole before the dam was built. He knew where all those streams were before the dam was actually constructed. And he had what a great history of, and knowledge and uh, of what a character he was. So we're going to talk about him tomorrow, okay? We're going to wrap it up today. Be careful. There's some wet roads out there. Drive slow. And watch out for the fellow driver. Do something good for somebody today. God bless. Thanks for joining us for Panhandle On Tours with Winston Chester. Panhandle On Tours features hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle On Tours.